In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for K4FeCN6, potassium ferrocyanate. So the first thing we note is there's no negative or positive sign after this compound. Because of that, it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. Next, we note that potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. It'll have a plus one. Each one of these potassium atoms has a plus one oxidation number. The iron, we don't know, that's a transition metal. We're going to call that X. Then we get to the cyanide, the C and N. This is a little bit of a challenge because carbon and nitrogen, they don't show up on our list. What we need to recognize is that this is called the cyanide ion. The whole cyanide ion has an ionic charge of one minus. When we have an ion and we're looking at the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So these oxidation numbers here are going to add up to minus one. Because of that, we could just set an equation up. We could say four times one, that's four, plus we don't know the iron, that's Fe there, put an X, six times one minus, that gives us a minus six, all that equals zero. X minus two equals zero, and then add two to both sides, X equals a positive two. So the oxidation number on the iron here in this potassium ferrocyanate, that is a positive two. If you need to know the oxidation numbers on the carbon and the nitrogen, there's a link in the description for this video on the cyanide ion here. It's a little bit tricky because both of these don't really show up in the rules. We have to use an extra rule to figure this out. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the iron Fe in K4FeCN6. This is potassium ferrocyanate. Thanks for watching.